or even making finals. The San Flo season is still a few weeks out from finals but former Sydney star Ryan O'Keefe can already consider it a successful year. The first year Adelaide Reserves coach is a competitive beast and the Crows at fifth on the ladder are no certainty to play finals. But there is a bigger picture for the Crows State League side it is about developing players. In that area, O'Keefe can look back and smile as Hugh Greenwood, Jono Beach, Jordan Gallucci and now Alex Keith have enjoyed smooth transitions from the San Flo to AFL. Everybody loves winning and a winning culture is a good culture, O'Keefe said. It winning, creates good habits and if the team's winning the players are playing well. That's what we're here for, to develop players to become better. If we succeed in that and have a few guys. Greenwood, Beach and Gallucci have all had, AFL, debuts this year and that means the program is working. It has been an eye-opening year as senior coach for O'Keefe, whose playing highlights include the 2012 Norm Smith Medal and Premierships with the Swans in 2005 and 2012. O'Keefe knew he wanted to stay in the game after his 16-season career ended so he prepared for coaching by doing courses and accreditation while still playing. He was first assigned midfield duties with the Crows as he went straight into coaching after retirement, but this year has thrown up another string of challenges. Because he gets the players who aren't picked in the seniors, there is no control over the amount of changes he can make. Some weeks O'Keefe can wrestle with having too many talls, the next not enough, making team balance difficult. I get, what's left over from what the AFL haven't used and then you deal with the demographic you've got, basically, O'Keefe said. Whether you have all talls or all smalls, whether you need a lot of top UPS, unlisted players from lower ranks, or not many at all it changes from week to week. It's been a great learning experience and I've enjoyed it immensely. The added responsibility, the final decision and all the other things that go with it the management of people, staff, top-up players and their coaches. There's always different curveballs here and there and probably because you're dealing with a team that changes so often. O'Keefe also has the dilemma of what position to play those who miss out on a senior game where it gives the San Flo side the best chance to win or where the player is earmarked to one day play for th. E senior side. This is where future development was paramount, he said. They're picked in the position they prefer to play or the position they're most likely to play in the AFL, he said. We're all about developing our players to be the best they are and play at the highest level which is the AFL. O'Keefe likes the idea of one day being a senior AFL coach, but is in no hurry. I think it's something I'm eyeing off down the track, he said. But I think there's a long way to go to get there and I want to make sure I take the right steps and develop everything I need to. I don't want to rush and try to race to get to that point. I'm enjoying learning in the role I am now and think it's just a progression.